Hello guys, this one is a uh, requested explanation. So let me just try to explain um, how do I find my vectors when I do vector questions. So I write, I like to write AB equal to OB minus OA. Now the question is, I have receivers, why is not AB equal to OA minus OB? Why is the case? So to understand this, we have to draw, draw a diagram to understand what's happening, right? For example, let OA equal to A and OB equal to B. For example, so we have a point O here to begin, and we have a point A here, and we have a point B, for example. Now, we can, uh, this is OA, O going to A, is given to you by A, and O going to B is given to you by, by B. Now my question is we have to find the value of AB. Okay, so to find AB, we just have to join them. And the direction is from A to B. Now, to go from A to B, we have to go from A to O and O to B. Okay, so A to O and O to B. Now, OA is A, so, so OA is in this direction, but AO will be in the opposite direction, so it will have to be minus A, plus OB is equal to B. But now if you observe, as you have seen, we can take out the minus, and what is the value of A? A is given by OA, and what is the value of B? A is OB. So if you want to write this down again, AB is equal to OB minus OA. So that's why you get AB is OB minus OA and not OA minus OB. So just to recap, if you understand, so just the main, main, the main point is, let's say you want to find the vector PM. You will take this one, OM minus OP. So another example. You want to find the vector st, you will take the last one first, which is ot minus os. Okay, so that's how, that's the explanation on how it is, why it is like that. And I hope that is useful for your upcoming questions. Okay, so as always, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.